Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and today is our Crochet Society box number 47, Project Reveal and Review. So thank you to each and every one of you who took um, part in voting for the winning project. I really do appreciate it. I do have um, a tally of who the winner is and all the different votes, so I will share them with you shortly. But before we get started, I want to just give you a little reminder of what this box was all about. And, um, you know, then we'll get on with showing you which project won. So this box came to us, um, Jan what are we now, April? So I think it was the beginning of February, which may have been the January box because uh, being in Australia, we get it way later than everybody else. But nevertheless, it was box number 47. Most of you would have seen the unboxing. If you haven't, go and do so because you'll see that it was chock full of goodies. And I have to say that all the buzz, um, you know, uh, through social media and through the comments and even myself when I opened it, I did agree that this was pretty much one of the best boxes by far. So I'm wondering how they're going to top this. Because inside, not only was there, you know, the usual, um, you know, yarn and little accessories or notions that we get and a few other things it was actually jam-packed with a lot of those great yarn not only the project book with all the information in here but also this excellent and uh, my goodness everyone was so excited for this little booklet that came with all of these adorable little animals and magurumi animals to crochet now some of you might remember and if you don't i will show you that i actually made the little Bunny. Well, he's not little because I made him out of blanket yarn, but I also show him on one of my um, podcasts. So have a look at that and you'll see how I made him. I think it was the one just before Easter because I made him in time for Easter. So this little fellow came out of this book here. So many, many um, creators have actually made quite a few things out of this um, box not just the projects that he came with so as i said you know he was very easy to whip up so this was a bonus which added to the buzz of this box so i was very very happy to receive it and to share it with you now in that box came a variety of yarns i think in total there were one two three four five six different colors these are the ones that we've used for our project here and i have to tell you that I discovered after watching many other YouTubers um, do their unboxing or showing us the projects that they've made out of the little Amigurumi book especially, and then they were talking about the yarn, that they were actually yarn, um, sorry, the colours were names of shows. So I will share with you in a moment the different um, yarns that we use for our project. But um, I have to tell you that today with my clipboard, I am using the pen that came with it. And I think you'll be seeing this every time we have a Crochet Society um, project review and reveal because I need to make sure that I get all the information out to you. So as we said, we had the opportunity for about two weeks to um, vote on what we wanted um, the project to be to be made. And I will show you um, the projects that you had to choose from just to give you a little refresher. Again, this book is so beautiful. Um, it is written in UK terminology for those of you that aren't familiar with the box. So the first one was the Chillax Pouch. It was actually very, very pretty and it came with a zipper in um, the box so that you can make the pouch if you wanted to. Now this one here is our little Care Bear and it's a share bear. Now that relates to its little tummy, um, what's it called, a badge? And I didn't realize that it was an actual real care bear. I thought it was like a generic one. So I wanna thank our friend Shirley for making it very clear to all of us um, in the comments down below in the last video, the unboxing video, that this is a genuine um, care bear um, because her daughter has been collecting, I think 25 years, how many years? Yes, for 25 years she's been collecting her Care Bears. I'd love to see that collection one day. Please feel free to send in a photo. Um, Shirley, I would love to see it. So this was the Share Bear. And then the last project that we had to choose from was this gorgeous off the hook. Um, they called it a project bag. So it's a whole heap of granny squares. Um, I didn't actually look into the pattern as yet to see if it has a lining but i guess you could line it if you wanted to so they were the three patterns you had to vote on and let me tell you 39 of you voted so the chillax pouch got 12 votes 
the share bear got 24 votes and the bag got three votes now some of you were mm, i'm not sure which i want to do but overall the winner was the little care bear and let me tell you he was fun to make but there were a little like a few little hiccups with the pattern so i was a little bit sad some of the moments but then i worked it out so these are the yarns that we had to use so i've got two balls of yeah two, two balls of yarn that haven't been touched these are pretty much as new as well this one was used a little bit more than the others so but this was the one that we used the most and this color was called blossom here it is here guys and it's uh, named after the show blossom and the actual star of it the main character was blossom and i think she was the girl that played amy in big bang theory i absolutely love that show and i can't think of her name at the moment maya balik something like that anyway i think that's who it is that's not the point here this one is called angelica and i think that it was from um the rugrats now this yarn is beautiful it's um a, a blend of cotton and acrylic and it's absolutely beautiful it is a dk weight or a an innate ply and um as i said it's a blend but i want to see if it yes 60 percent cotton and 40 percent acrylic so absolutely gorgeous and then this one here the black one is sabrina from the teenage witch i think was the show and this one i cannot say to save my life but it's like a creamy color and we used a little bit of that to make the is it the face or the muzzle and the little badge and the tiny tiny tail so let me show you the share bear here he is here now I'm not sure if you'd be able to tell what he is if I didn't tell you. And he is a he is representing all care bears. Because guys, embroidering for me is very, very difficult. I did use Cassandra's um, tutorial, just the black part from Craftably Ever After. So I'm forever thankful and grateful to her for putting that out. But um, see just his little face and that nose, I pulled it out three times, guys. So I thought if you were going to wait for me to uh, embroider that on, you'd never see this project. I even um, contemplated drawing it on there, but then I opted not to. So he represents all Care Bears. Now, his little tail is perfect because he makes him sit like perfectly. Honestly, at one stage I was having a bit of trouble with the legs and I thought, how am I gonna do this? He's not balancing, but as soon as you put the tail on, he sits. This arm is definitely put on better than this arm. And his little ears, well, I think the best thing about the ears is that they brought the top of the head in, he pinched it in a little bit, so it actually gave it better shape. Let me just show you the bear in the photo, in the picture here. So there he is there. And there's mine there. There they are, twins. <laughs> anyway, look, I'm just going to pop him over here for now while I tell you what I thought about the pattern. Usually I'm very, very happy um, because he comes with a YouTube tutorial as well. I um, started doing um, the body the way I usually do, and that's not um, joining and then, you know, adding a little, you know, chain and then continuing around i just did it in a continuous spiral using my stitch marker and then when i went to the video tutorial because i thought oh my goodness i'm not sure how i'm going to join the head and the body because there was an opening that wasn't the same one had 12 stitches i think and 130 or something like that but i was very disappointed in that if i was a very very brand new beginner and amigurumi this was the first time i was trying it and even for me he's only made a handful of toys it was a little bit tricky because i wasn't sure how to join the two together um, because it only showed you the stitches like a single crochet or double crochet in uk terminology because it's all in uk terminology then it showed you how to decrease how to increase um, and then they left it at that and they just said refer to the photo so even when it came to the ears and things like that i was like oh my goodness i wish i had someone showing me how to do it even though there weren't any photos in here either but look in saying that that's all on me I I know that I need to get better. I could have researched even more, but um, for the purposes of this project, I got through it. I did miss a step. Well, it was my fault for not looking at the picture, but also an error on their part that the pattern said to change after the first round for the um, feet um, or the legs, but it should have been after the third round. I was a bit disappointed when I worked that out on the second round, but I just wanted to get this out. So he's done. He may not be 
the best Care Bear, but he's my Care Bear and I'm happy to share him because he's a Share Bear after all. So maybe one day I'll work out how to do the embroidery on this, but don't hold your breath, guys. Anyway, regardless, he's done. And um, what else did I want to let you know? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> so with the um, uh, the yarn, he recommended that you use a three millimeter hook. Now that's way too small for me, but I had just bought a three and a half millimeter hook, a boy one, because I had misplaced my um, clover. And this is what I usually use with my DK weight yarn or eight ply yarn when I crochet amigurumi. And I'll tell you what, it worked beautifully. So I was very, very pleased with this um, hook. It's quite inexpensive, um, I think under $10, and it was really, really nice to use that. Um, the box actually came with a four millimeter hook. So I'm guessing you could have used that with the um, with the other projects, but I haven't looked into it. Um, so that's the hook that I used. I did enjoy um, crocheting it in the end because the yarn wasn't as splitty as I thought as it might be. In the past, I think I've used different hooks with it and it was, but it was, you know, crocheting with this yarn was beautiful. It was just for me getting the instructions that I needed. You know, like I said, I needed a few more instructions to put it together. So that's that. Um, so overall, oh, and I didn't use the safety eyes. Obviously, I showed you that I crochet, uh, embroidered them on. So overall, look, this was, um, it was um, a project that should have actually taken a lot less considering the size of it. But um, in the end, I was just happy to finish it because he is cute after all. And he is one of my favorite colors. I did try to take this arm off but I had done such a great job of sewing it in. I, there was no way I could undo it without destroying it. So I left it at that. And I do love his little tail because it makes him so very, very well balanced. So I would definitely give the box a 10 out of 10. Honestly, 10 out of 10 without a doubt. Um, the pattern, I would give it an eight. Um, and the execution of the pattern, I give it an eight. I could have maybe done a little bit better, but for now, it's done, guys. So, Crochet Society box number 47, we finished the project. Thanks to you guys, because I'm always made accountable. Thanks to you voting. I have to make sure that I get it through to you, because you put it all in, like, all the effort in to make sure that um, I make something out of this box and each and every box, because it is one of my goals, once again, for 2024, that I make at least one project from each box. Otherwise, it's a total waste of money. But the fun part of it is now, guys, and I am so very excited to do this, I am in a position that I'm able to offer one of you guys a box of your own. Now, this is the brand new box here. Here's my box over here, guys. Now, this box, I haven't even opened it, but I'm sure that it's full of everything it needs because I've been like doing, like weighing it and it feels very, very full. So I'm not going to open it because I want the person who receives this box to be the first person to open it. So if you would like to win this box, just pop um, a comment down in the comments. And today is the 9th of April, so Tuesday the 9th of April, so on Tuesday the 23rd of April, I uh, will come on and we'll do the YouTube random picker and someone will win this gorgeous box because I thought it was, it'd be very, very nice to be able to give one away because as I said, uh, everyone is talking about how great it is and I am in a position where I am able to give one away. So how awesome is that? Because what am I going to do with two boxes, guys? Let's be real. Um, after all, sharing is caring, and it is share care bears motto, I think. So it was very, very appropriate. So I hope that um, you've all enjoyed watching my little reveal and review of uh, project number, uh, I think it was the second project in the book, but I definitely um, am happy that it's done and dusted for now. So I can tick that one off. I really should be using this to be ticking off I've taken off the lid already. So I'm going to tick that I have completed another project, which is awesome. Um, get back to me. Let me know if you've made anything from the boxes, because I know quite a few actually do receive the boxes as well. So I'd be very curious to see what you made. Um, I would like to make the other two projects as well. And I've got plenty of yarn to do so, which is pretty awesome. And I'm sure that I could find um, yarn in my other boxes as well because this is the most popular yarn in most of their boxes and it is a lovely lovely yarn this um, crochet society dk this one's called charm dk so that's it guys for now um 
I'm done. I hope you're all keeping well. The weather has turned here in Sydney, Australia. We've gone from glorious heat and summer to overnight winter. We skipped autumn altogether, it feels like today, but that's okay. I actually appreciate the cooler weather, so I'm quite enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to the next box, guys. I think it comes out, what are we now, April. It might actually be coming out at the end of this month. So that would be super awesome because then we're up to box 48. I wonder if they can top this box. That would be pretty cool, right? So thank you once again for hanging out with me. So thank you for always making this a lot of fun, like especially for me because every time I put an extra stitch in, I was like, I've got to do this. I've got to do this for my Yarny friends and I did it in the end. So thank you so very, very much all of you for once again hanging out with us. I hope you're all keeping well and until I see you all very, very soon, take care everyone. Bye-bye for now.